Hello everyone. Today, I'll show you how to create a Bib account and explain how futures trading works, all in the easiest way possible. Before we begin, make sure to use the link below to register, you'll get up to 20% trading fee discounts on Bybit along with bonus rewards, so don't miss out. First, I'll show you how to register on Bybit. If you click the link below the video, the Bybit registration page will open. Please create your account using your email address or mobile phone number. Next, you'll need to create a password. It must be at least 8 characters long and include a combination of uppercase letters, lowercase letters, and numbers. If you enter the referral code INT777, you'll receive a 20% discount on Bybit trading fees along with bonus rewards, so make sure to enter it. Click Get My Welcome Gifts. Slide to complete the puzzle. You will now need to verify your email or mobile phone. Once you enter the verification code, your Bybit registration will be completed successfully. Next, let's proceed with the KYC identity verification. To deposit, withdraw, or trade on Bybit, you are required to complete identity verification. Since the KYC verification includes a facial recognition step, we'll complete this process using a mobile phone. Please download the Bybit app and open it. Please log in with the account you just created. After logging in, click Verify Now. Please select Russia as your residence country, and check the agreement box below. Now, you'll need to complete the ID verification. Please choose one of the following passport, driver's license, residence permit, or ID card. Click Continue. Now, align your ID within the camera frame, and take photos of both the front and back sides. Next, you'll complete the facial verification to confirm your identity. Follow the on-screen instructions by moving your face and blinking your eyes. Once you submit your information, the review will take about an hour, and then your KYC verification will be completed. Next, I'll show you how to set up Google Authenticator. Go back to the PC screen. On the left menu, click Account, then select Security. Click Google Two-Factor Authentication, then click Settings. Once you complete the email or phone verification, you'll be taken to the Google Authenticator setup screen. Now, download the Google Authenticator app on your mobile phone. Open the Google Authenticator app, tap the button at the bottom right, and select QR Code Scan. Scan the QR code shown on your PC screen. Then, a six-digit Bybit code will be generated in the Google Authenticator app. Enter this six-digit code into the Google Too Far code field on Bybit. Once you click Confirm, your Google Authentication setup will be successfully completed. Step 2 How to deposit your account Go back to the home screen and click Buy Crypto at the top left. Then click Peer-to-Peer -peer Trading. Peer-to-Peer -peer Trading has zero fees. To buy crypto, select Buy and then select USDT. USDT has lower fees compared to BTC or ETH. Next, choose Rub as the currency. There are many banks listed under payment methods. Most people usually use bank transfer. Click Confirm. Next, click Filter. Then check only the verified advertisers. After choosing these options, you'll see a list of available sellers. First, enter the amount you want to purchase. Select a seller and click Buy USDT. Here, you can see the advertiser's terms, so please make sure to review them carefully. Please make the transfer in your own name only. Enter the amount you want to pay, and select your payment method. Next, click Buy. The advertiser's name and bank card number will appear. Open the Tinkoff app. Enter amount. Confirm recipient name. Send the money. Then, on the Bybit screen, click Payment Completed. Click Confirm Payment. Once the advertiser confirms the payment, the USDT will be deposited into your wallet. Now, click Assets in the top right, then select Funding Account, and you'll see that your USDT has been deposited. Third, I'll show you how to trade futures on Bybit. To start futures trading, you need to transfer the USDT from your funding account to Unified Trading. On the right side of USDT, click Transfer. Select from funding to Unified Trading. 
select USDT as the coin, and enter the amount. Then the USDT will be transferred to Unified Trading. Now, let's start Futures Trading. Click Trade in the top menu on Bybit. Select Futures. Then you'll be taken to the Futures Trading screen. If you tap the free line menu at the top left, you can select the coin you want to trade. On the right hand menu, you can set up your trade. By clicking this button, you can select the margin mode. Isolated uses part of your margin for one position. Cross uses all your margin for all positions. If you're a beginner, it's safer to trade in isolated mode. By pressing this button, you can set your leverage. You can set the leverage up to 100x. The higher the leverage, the greater the potential profit, but the risk of loss also increases. So for beginners, I recommend using lower leverage for safer trading. By pressing this button, you can choose the order type. Your available margin is displayed below. Enter the price and quantity you want to trade here. Finally, select your position direction. If you think the price will rise, select long. If you think the price will fall, select short. Then, by tapping the positions button below, you can view the status of your open position. You'll see, entry price is your entry price. Mark price is current market price. Leak price is liquidation price. If the price reaches it, your position is automatically closed. Click TPSL to set take profit and stop loss prices. To close your position, simply go to the close by menu below and choose either limit or market. Enter the amount you want to close. Then click confirm. Then your position will be fully closed. Today, I showed you how to sign up for Bybit and how to start futures trading easily. I hope this video helped you get started with Bybit and understand the basics of futures trading. If this video helped, make sure to like and subscribe. See you in the next video.